right around All Hallows' Eve, oh, we like to send TCL reporter Kelly Hansen out to get spooked. And she and Jody Levon have connected the spirits at Landmark Center, the St. James Hotel in Red Wing, and most recently, the Orle in downtown St. Paul. What accent is that? Like, Do, like dooly, spo spooky, from the nation of old timey ghouls. guy. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Uh, they're all places that are said to be haunted, like this place, the Leduc Historic Estate in Hastings. I mean, come on, Beautiful. guys, you can't look at that picture and not think it's haunted. The home <laughs> was built in the 1860s, and people have claimed to see this gentleman, the original owner, General William Leduc, walking from room to room. But what did Kelly and Jody find? Take a look. I've been wanting to bring you here for weeks. What do you feel upon looking at this mansion here? Well, first of all, it's gorgeous. I can't wait to walk through it. And there's a haze. And when I see a haze, that means spirits. There's definitely spirits in there. The Leduc Historic Estate was built in 1862. This house was designed by Andrew Jackson Downing, and it comes from um, his Victorian cottage residences. And was the home to General William Gates Leduc. William Leduc was kind of a man who had a lot of different ideas about how he could make uh, money. He was a lawyer. He sold stationery and books. And then he um, tried to start a railroad, the Hastings Dakota Railroad, um, and then actually fought in the Civil War as a quartermaster. He and his wife Mary raised their family here. So they had four children Minnie, Florence, Willie and Alice. Mariah Ring, the estate site supervisor, has had a few paranormal experiences here. Well, I've heard footsteps on the floor before, um, but it was also when it was cold, so I thought, well, maybe the house is settling, and then I realized if the house hasn't settled after 155 years, it probably should be. But the thing that I hear the most is the door downstairs. It sounds like it opens and closes, and I know it's locked. Jody immediately picks up on wife and mother, Mary LaDuke. She's kicked, do you mind if I yeah. just touch the back of you? She yeah. said she's done this a little. Yeah, it happens all the time. <laughs> and that leads Jody into one of the bedrooms. The feeling I'm getting is from a very warm woman. She has nurse energy. So that, to me, nurse energy means A, she was a nurse, or B, she was very caring. She was very, she, she looked after more than just her husband and her children. She looked after goats or any animals here and other people beyond her stream and I feel like she might have been the woman that lived in this house like so Mrs. LaDuke Mrs. LaDuke she's an M Mrs. LaDuke so this room was the general and Mary's room so William Mary, LaDuke Mary M yes yeah, so Mary <laughs> Mary LaDuke and General William Gates LaDuke lived in this room. This was their bedroom. This was the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So was Mary more of a caretaker? But they did have a small farm. They did have goats and goats. chickens and ducks. I know you're freaking me out over <laughs> She looked after more than just her husband and her children. She looked after goats or any animals here. And Mariah told us General William LaDuke was a passionate entrepreneur. Politically? Did they ever speak out politically? They did, didn't they? Well, William actually really wanted to be involved in politics, yeah. but he was the commissioner of agriculture for Rutherford B. Hayes. Oh, interesting. So that would have been one of the times when they actually would have used the parlor. I can feel it. That is so cool because I can actually hear it. He just had his hand in lots of different things that he would either leave right before they were successful or um, he would think they weren't going to be successful and then they would take off. The head of the household, William LaDuke, lived to be 94 years old. And ironically, we just found out today that he died 101 years ago today. Throughout our tour, not only did Jody connect with Mary, but also Alice, the LaDuke's youngest child. And that led us to Alice's bedroom, where Mariah disclosed a darker side to the family. William, who was into spiritualism, and Alice was the one who would participate most often with him. And Minnie. Minnie would do some too. Um, Florence, I think they all had a hand in it, especially after Mary passed away. When you said they were into spiritualism, what does that mean? So spiritualism was basically the belief that after um, somebody passed away, their spirit was still around and present, that you could talk to them, and that they were continuing to evolve afterwards as well. In other words, William LaDuke and his children held seances in this very home. I don't get as happy of a vibe in here. In particular, up in the attic. A lot of times we don't like to have to come up and turn the lights off at night up here. Um, 
But this is one of the places where the seances were held, oh. and it was in the tower room. Jody says while there are definitely spirits in this home, it's a safe place, but one its previous owners like to visit from time to time. There's a haze in there. So there is even currently <clears throat> other little spirit energy there. Yeah, look at it. There's it, it just has a, a haunted look. Hello? You're right about that. Of course. Uh, the Leduc Historic Estate is closed for guided tours, but those will start up again in May. We've posted event information at TwinCitiesLive.com. There you will also find details on Jody's event next month. She's going to be answering your intuition questions and will give spontaneous psychic readings as well. Plus, I have coffee with Jody Levon. She's the feature of our Coffee with Cool oh, People tomorrow. tomorrow on Twin Cities Live at 4. And I think you're going to really love her perspective on parenting, the place that she is with her kids, and how her kids have sometimes reacted to her gifts. Very interesting. Did you ask her about her hair at all? How she yes. gets the volume of that hair? I didn't hair. ask her about that, but I did ask her about the outside, your appearance on the outside matching the inside, because I feel like that is how she operates oh, sure. and the importance of that. The volume she has, women would just shove other women for. She kills it. Uh, we are